We're back. Yes, guys. Yes, so we're back from watching another movie this time. It's another video game movie, and the movie we saw is Street Fighter. The movie. Yeah. It doesn't say Street Fighter 2, it's just Street Fighter the movie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's not based on the first game, it's based on the second game. Actually, wait, a combination of the, the second and Super Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Because uh, Cammy. Oh, yeah, yeah, a bunch uh, of characters. DJ, who else? Uh, actually, you know what? Cammy and DJ are in this movie, but there was no uh, Fei Long, which is the Bruce Lee clone. clone. And let me see who else. Oh, actually, wait, T Hawk is in it, but he looks nothing like T Hawk. Oh. <laughs> Before that, let's do the usual, the thing yes. that I think we usually do now is to uh, read the thing. Read it. All right, so it stars Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia, who is... Unfortunately, he passed away after this movie, yeah. Street Fighter. This is the collector's edition, by the way. Uh, it's not my, co- it's not my <laughs> copy of it. Advent- Adventure is the name of the game in widescreen. International action superstar Jean-Claude Van Damme teams with... Raul Julia for a thrill-packed adventure on an epic scale from the screenwriters of Die Hard, 48 Hours, and Commando. There you go. You said it, it, at one point it was like Commando. Oh, 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 get the... Based on the best-selling video game, the film hurdles beyond imagination with explosive action, humor, and amazing special effects. Van Damme is Colonel Guile, the Allied Nations... Oh, so that's what AN stood for. I didn't... I, I didn't <laughs> that was I, I, I forgot about... I, <laughs> I didn't pay yeah. enough attention in front of that. A- Allied Nations Commando, who leads an elite team of street fighters against the... S- elite team of street fighters against the forces of the mad general M. Bison, Julia. Bison, who has hatched an evil plan for world domination. I thought I thought he said he was doing it for peace. Well, in his, in his twisted, psychotic mind, yes. But still. <laughs> takes dozens of re- relief workers hostage and gives the world only 72 hours to respond to his twisted demands. In that time, Guile must find the captives and confront Bison in an ele- electrifying battle for the fate of the free world. Featuring sizzling songs by Ice Cube and Hammer, Street Fighter is an exciting, no-holds-barred action film for the whole family. Street Fighter has the perfect combination of elements to put the magic back into Saturday matinees? A matinees, yeah. yeah. It's, oh. like, it's like movies you watch in the, in the theater like at 10 or 11 in the morning, you know, like with your, with your family, kids and oh, stuff. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what they call it. By Joseph B. It, Marcery, it, World of Fandom magazine. Yeah, matinee is actually a French word, but they don't have the accent on it, so you, that's why you... Yeah, so it might throw people so off. matinee, yep. Yep, so that's the right. off. Yeah, and they put the uh, extra security... Uh, <laughs> you have to, like, open it like the... the that's the two, third time two, I've been tricked matches. by this DVD. Just, like, I want to open it, then it's just... up oh, there it is. You really got to fight to open up the... <laughs> it's a street case. fight. <laughs> it is. All right, so yeah. the movie. You were asking me how... So you were asking me what I thought of the movie. Yeah, I was asking you, are you going to have as much to say as you did with Super Mario Brothers? <laughs> I think there is something we could we couldn't... Yeah. Sorry, I'm really That's tired. Okay. There is something we can say about this movie, and uh, well, I'll say this: it's not as good as Mortal Kombat, which you said came afterwards. Yeah, it did come out a year after. But it's better than what we saw last time, the Super Mario Bros. <laughs> as much as this movie doesn't follow the actual game and be accurate to um, its source material, it somehow didn't insult me that much. At all, maybe because really? I'm not really that much of a fan. Like, I like I notice a few <laughs> things, but I'm kind of like a. It went so far in this one direction that it's kind of yeah. like it kind of turned into a comedy. Okay, sort yeah, of. I can see that. It was definitely it had some slap slapstick elements to it. Like when uh, I think E Honda was on the ground with uh, some kind of barrel, and Balrog was supposed to cut it. Uh, they had the as the the cap of this barrel it was made by it's a Capcom. It had the logo because it's a cap. You get Capcom. it. <laughs> Yeah, it, just, so it was definitely playing, yeah, poking fun of itself. Yeah. What was another scene? I forget. There's, there's more. There was one where it's like, uh, you know, when the guy came in to, like, tell uh, Guile, like, tell Guile that to get his troops out of here, and he was on the phone. He's like, oh, yeah, they're all back at base. And then we cut back to the this guy just cooking things, and it's like, meow. Yeah, yeah. It's they like, definitely those. <laughs> so, if you're, if you're, if you came into this movie hoping that. Uh, have something accurate or you know faithful to the original source. Yeah, you're not gonna get most of it because there. 
There was this other thing too, Ryu and Ken. Like yeah, a, very disappointing. Uh, okay, oh okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, the movie has uh, uh, M. Bison trying to take over the world. Not too far off the yeah, stretch. Yeah, he, he uh, you know, Raul Julia, Julia did a really good, great job as the villain. Uh, he definitely is the most memorable in this film, in my opinion. But he, he kind of, he's kind of a, he's really in his role. Like he doesn't yeah. have that buffness of, no. and like uh, insaneness of. Uh, well, he's insane in this movie, but just not for <laughs> the same reason. Like uh, the actual M. Bison, but his character just kind of. It's over. The it's top. his own type of bison. Yeah. So why don't we talk about like the characters? Like as we mentioned, uh, well, Van Dam is. He's an alright guy. Yeah. I thought it was okay. He didn't have the... The puffy hair. Uh, the accent definitely doesn't fit the character. <laughs> but, I mean, they chose him for the role because he was popular at the time, most likely. And I don't know why he um, took up this role, to be honest. It's, yeah. It seems kind of weird. A lot of people in this movie can't... Don't seem like... Uh, it seems like a bad Hong Kong dub, I noticed. It's yeah. Like, that's, that's very it's kind of somewhat distracting at, at well not like you know it distracting me from the movie it's just just like this sounds like a bad movie dub bad Hong Kong dubs yeah and that's what happens throughout this movie not to say everyone had that um uh, let's see Chun Li I thought played pretty all right yeah, she did well she did uh, well um I, f- I forget what the actress name is but apparently she was at uh, the, this past fan expo in Toronto 2015, uh, 2015 let's, let's yeah. be clear about yeah, this that year, sorry so Oh, no, 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 no. And the other actors, uh, TJ, like you said. Yeah, T- yeah, D- oh, DJ, sorry. DJ was... Uh... Wait, I, meant, I meant the Tomahawk guy. Oh, T-Hawk. Uh, T-Hawk. T-Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks nothing like him. No. He's not tra- He's part of the military. Yeah, I, like like there, there's... They dumbed down a few things with it, too. Like, uh, E-Honda and Balrog are working with Chun-Li yeah, as a news which reporter didn't team. Yeah, didn't make any sense, though. Which was kind of just kind of weird, yeah. sort of. Uh, uh, who else was there, um... Cammy was also working with God, but no, she makes sense. She fits. She fits the role, and I thought the actor who played her was was all right. Yeah, she. You know the funny thing about Cammy. I don't know if you knew about this, but she's actually a singer. Uh, Kylie Minogue was a singer, and they they chose her for this film role. I guess maybe because they thought she looked kind of like Cammy. I'd say she kind of looked like stature. it. The thing is, uh, being a singer, you would think that she'd have a track on this on this film, but no, she did not make uh, any songs for this film, which is kind of weird. I mean, if you have a singer, why not? But take well, uh, <laughs> but yeah. I, I don't I don't remember how well this movie rec- uh, how well this it's movie received, received yeah. but I'd imagine not not that positively no. but but it's kind of like the it's so bad it's actually kind of funny good yeah. cuz I, I did enjoy the film I thought it was okay but like I said if you're expecting Street Fighter yeah, you're but... not going to get it with this film it's not like uh with Mortal Kombat where it had a, an original Some... story that was still kind of in the universe um, in the, yeah yeah still based universe. around the game and not so far off like with Mario, where it's just like you know this is this almost had nothing to do with it, <laughs> like a futuristic yeah, dark dystopia. World is, yeah, yeah. Um, and then going back to the uh, the actors, uh, Blanca. I thought, oh yeah, Blanca. He was iffy. Yeah, not really used much in this. He he, he appears very little. Uh, Dalsim, who yeah, that was, a that was disappointing. Uh, that was just kind of he. He's a witch doctor, sure, yeah. but he's a scientist in this one. It's just like. Mm. And he has a moral. His moral actually fits more of Dal yeah. scene, but he doesn't do much with it. Um, ba, ba, da, da, ba, da. I was mentioning that it would have been cool. Well, it w- I mean, oh yeah, uh, like if they experimented on Dal scene, yeah, to give had, him that yeah, that limp. Yeah, had uh, Bison got really upset. You know, the fact that he altered Blanca, his state of mind made him more positive. That he would punish him by you know stretching him like you know super arms, <laughs> like like Dal scene is in the game. Right, he'd have long arms, long legs. And the character that most but, people uh, play. Yeah, but they didn't have that at all in this. And he didn't he didn't blow, at, blow any flame out of his. At mother. the last <laughs> second, he changes into his witch doctor like thing. It's like, well, well the movie's almost over. What? Yeah, what's barely. The point? Uh, let's see. I thought the guy who played Zangief was actually yeah he appearance looked, wise he yeah, looks good. He like even though he's not like because Zangief's supposed to be this big buff Russian guy, <laughs> but he actually the actor pl- looked looked good. Yeah. And apparently he was a bit... Uh, he was an idiot. In yeah, he was mood. abused and, I mean, he, I he didn't I get paid for his work. I wouldn't I say abused, just kind of like uh, played for Taking advantage of it. Because uh, <laughs> at the end there's another thing where it's like uh, Zangief is like, we get paid? Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> it's like I never na- imagined Zangief yeah. as being an idiot at yeah. all. And then, uh, let's see... Mm. And Ryu and Ken. Yeah, they were if just, you're a fan of Ryu and Ken, this movie he just really slaps in. It's like a slap in the face for sure. There, were, there was like one Hadouken as you pointed out near the that end. That wasn't from, even from really Ryu, a Hadouken. Ryu. Oh yeah, this was, movie has like, bad lightning. It was effects. a flash, right? It was just a flash. It's like <laughs> that. That was it. Yeah. And Ryu and Ken in this movie, they're 
weapons dealer? No, they're con men. Yeah. And he's, I want, there's a scene where Sagad, which we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, oh, yeah. He... Ken says, oh, thank you for, you know, uh, pointing out what I could have become if I hadn't met you. Kind of thing. He's like, what the hell? I don't know. It just didn't fit the... Yeah, and, and Sagad doesn't make any sense in this movie. Nah. Because uh, uh, at one point I was like, uh, I was like, don't, the reason Sagat has that eye patch and that scar is because Ryu fucked him up in uh, one he, of the tournaments. He's supposed to have a scar across his he, chest. He did. He did he when did, his right? shirt was yeah, ripped yeah, off yeah, and you yeah, could well, see it. Yeah. There was no point to his character no. there, because the reason he had all that was because of Ryu. But in this film, they had no tie-ins at all, right? No, no they're just, they're both, like, he's he's a weapon dealer along with uh, Vega. Yeah, Vega. Who didn't look too bad, actually. Yeah. Um, I was missing those those com- comical noises, high-pitched noises he makes, <laughs> like, in the game, but... Oh, the, the ninja noise. And he didn't really jump on the, you know, I was hoping he would jump on the fence, like, in the early scene where he's fighting the guy in the cage. I thought he was, he was gonna, you know, use the cage to, as he does in the game, but he didn't use any of that. So that was kind of disappointing. But... Yeah. Because yeah. then they just like fight for a second and all of a sudden you just see his, his opponent flop on the ground. That was it. They didn't show like... He got burnt and then that was kind of yeah. it. Oh, there's not a lot of fight scenes in this. Unlike Mortal Kombat where it's yeah. fight after fight after fight and it's like, oh, it works out. There are, there are some like E. Honda and Zangief, but it's they're stretched out and even like make fun of it with like a Godzilla like sounds and yeah, stuff. Yeah, when like the troopers, the Japanese troopers were like a... <laughs> Yada yada yada. There's like a Godzilla. Onishimas, and then <laughs> yeah. just like oh, they see E Honda and Zangief like fighting over this modeled city of what yeah. uh, Bison was trying to make, and had Godzilla noise over it, and I was just like, <laughs> there are some parts in this movie where I just went like, oh, that's yeah. just that just didn't, unnecessary. Yeah. That was just dumb. But yeah, not a lot of fight scenes. There are action scenes, but not a lot of fight scenes. There's a lot more shooting than there yeah, is. It should like, have been called shoot shoot fighter, I think, or something. Yeah, because that like near the near the end, it went like Uncharted, and then suddenly Commando, and then yeah. as you know, I found out just now that from the makers of Commando. It... Yeah. This movie it feels really short, but it's actually an hour and forty two minutes. I don't know how the time went by that fast. Well, that is, I mean, that is kind of short, but it's it's longer than Commando, that's for sure. But uh... man, I kind of would <laughs> like to watch that again. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Fans of the series will probably definitely be disappointed if they're looking for a, a serious adaptation. If they're looking to have a laugh or two, they might enjoy this, right? I mean, obviously this movie's like a couple of uh, like years old, so it's no big surprise. And if they wanted yeah. a more fateful adaptation of Street Fighter, they'd watch the animated uh, Street Fighter. And not the Chun-Li uh, <laughs> spin-off, or whatever you want to call it. Not, you mean that movie yeah. where it's Which like... Which I haven't seen, but I've heard terrible things. I mean, no. It was already kind of bad from the beginning, because yeah. it's like, Chun-Li's not even Chinese. It's like, well, that's the whole point of her character. Yeah. Or, that's a characteristic of her character. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's no... um. There's no music from the street. There's yeah, no music from the true. Street Fighter. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that I just forgot. Like, yeah, like the do you remember anything? Pretty forgettable. Uh, there was a funny scene. Uh, you, I think you, you saw that too when uh, when they're showing Bison controlling his whatever device you want to call it, where he's like sending out the uh, all the mines, the mines, the bombs, the blow up. There was a joyous arcade <laughs> stick. It was just like. Yeah. It was just like, what, like a, was, what was that? <laughs> it kind of reminded me of when we watched Ghostbusters two, and they're controlling the Statue of Liberty with the uh, that was more plausible. the NES Advantage. Uh, that, that was kinda, more plausible. I'm sure they they that. got they got inspired by Ghostbusters two to include that that scene there. Uh, yeah, you th- yeah, yeah, you pretty think sure. maybe. Yeah, pretty uh, sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, in terms of like memorable one liners, yeah, it, there is quite a few in terms yeah. of like either it is actually kind of epic or it's so bad it's gotten like. <laughs> Like, or it's so goofy, it's kind of funny because like, like there's a lot of scene where like something happens and John Claude Van Damme is like like when the Asian guy jumps up on the table and is trying to attack and it's like he hits him off. It's like okay, any new business stuff like that. It's yeah, just... or the epic uh, where b- before he's gonna take on or they're gonna go challenge Bison and his soldiers. He's, oh yeah, he gives, gives that, that one, speech. You know what he says? I'm trying to remember. Something, something, something. But we can go home. Yeah. <laughs> something, something, something. But we can go home. Now, who wants to go home or who wants to go with me? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of yeah. a thing. And I also noticed another thing that was also ironic is uh, Bison's troops were all red and Guile's troops were all blue, which didn't make sense. But blue, after reading blue the team, fe- red team, right? And which, yeah, we got it right here. So I'm going to lose this. <laughs> no, thing, but I'm. S- <laughs> He's super. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Ed's could be Street Fighter. That's but uh, yeah, so in the feature, it uh, yeah, we saw the feature, it which um, after, after kind of the movie. Yeah, we watched the feature, it. Yeah. Not all of them because some of them were just kind of 
taking too long. Yeah. But uh, they it, they talked about the about like the guy D Souza. Oh, was, Stephen D D Sou- D Souza. Yeah. Yeah. Who was like uh oh the battle between good and evil? And I was like oh so that's why there was a red, red and a and blue, blue team because it's good versus evil. Makes sense. It's like they try to incorporate so many things and oh. Remember when the feature it said like um, they were, f- he was knowledgeable about the game and whatnot, and I'm just like because his son apparently played it. <laughs> yeah, and he, they were both like, oh, we we heard about Street Fighter, we were knowledgeable about it, and we we wanted to make it as faithful to it, and I'm just like, no, he failed. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd say two thirds of it, one yeah. third of it, he kind of got right, like Some Guile being in in the army. He, they got the guy who played Zangief looking right. Julius Raul. He did okay. Bison was okay. Or Raul Julius I as think, Bison were, worked out in its own unique way. I think what this movie really lacked, which you pointed out already, was the music. If it had, you know, like, say, Guile's theme, which is iconic and known, it says apparently it fits any any scene, right? Oh, Anything yeah. you, Anywhere you put the Guile music, it's going to tie <laughs> 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 the, the only time they put it was in the featurette. They showed a video game segment, and they had that music, of course, and that was it. But that didn't count. That didn't count. Was... That's after the movie. Yeah. Oh, remember? Remember when uh, Rhea was about to fight Vega? It played a, some other music instead. It was like it was like or something. Oh, that. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, you're in a fight club. Why? Why? Why, why can't you play Ryu's team? Like, like they should do a. Someone should do a fan edit of this where you With add Street Fighter music to it, and I think it would actually work. make it epic, kind of yeah. like a, you know, like a. Oh, that's kind of neat, but it's also kind of cool. I think that would work for sure. What else can we say about this? <laughs> oh, what did you think about the plot? Uh, I mean, some of it was okay. I mean, they they still had kept the fact that Chun Li had a had past you know had a past tie with with Bi- Bison because of her father trying to stop him and or his being uh, murdered. He killed her father. So yeah, yeah. S- there's bits and pieces of this of in this movie. There's bits and pieces of it where you can see like some glimpse of faithfulness to it but the other half of it is just like, like no it's just kind of its own thing like uh, charlie turning into bison yeah that's, that's definitely not in the game wait bison you mean blanca? oh sorry blanca sorry blanca oh my god yeah uh, the way they were doing it to him it was just like they just wanted him to be super strong and have they gave him like a virtual boy thing and made him watch all this bad stuff i don't know how that go it makes you go crazy but eh, whatever oh, brain, science brainwash he was trying to brainwash he's trying to create a beast He's gonna unleash his beast because oh, they called him a beast, a wild, he, wild he, beast, right, or something. Bison wanted a world of his goal in the movie. Yeah. He said he wanted like the most powerful genetically created soldiers, yeah. and I'm just like, you don't want power for yourself. And he's like, I'm gonna use these soldiers and rain terror all over, and then bring peace. Yeah. And I was like, why don't you just drop a nuclear bomb and then hand out bandages? Well, he did have his his uh, fake money, right? His uh... oh, that was the thing. <laughs> that was the thing. He was so he was so. It's kind of like what the Joker would. Yeah, do, the Joker kinda. did that as well, actually. In the uh, 1989 uh, Batman, he has. This, uh, they deleted the scene, but in the original storyline, he was supposed to have a scene where he's unleashing like you know millions of dollars to whoever's yeah, in the, Joker's face. Yeah, to whoever's in the audience. But in, in the in the movie, they don't show that it's fake. But it's actually supposed to be like his face on the dollar bills. But yeah. Yeah, so that's it's played a lot because yeah. he's so confident. He's like, I'm gonna make so much money, and it's and each bison dollar will be five British pounds. Yeah, five British pounds. And then he had his uh, was it Bisonopolis or something? Is that uh, Metropol- <laughs> Metropolis? Yeah, yeah. This yeah. he go he he goes <laughs> so far into this realm of being a prick that it's or actually God, kind of yeah. that is actually kind of amusing. So. Yeah. What else could we say? Hmm. That's tough. I mean, it's not bad enough that there's enough bad things to talk about, and there's not exactly enough good things to talk about that would make it good. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Mm. I wouldn't say there's many effects, because most of the effects were kind of shit. There were some explosions here and there. And the lightning was really, really yeah. obviously ba- Bi- uh, bad lightning. Yeah. But uh, apparently they used a lot of, like in the featurettes, they used a lot of, like, shooting locations i didn't it didn't look like that yeah. actually because it seems like it was only shot in like five ish locations yeah like, like near the end of some kind of junk or amazon congo type of rainforest setting, rainforest setting yeah. but uh yeah i don't know i don't really know what to add to uh, what we already said 
we pretty much covered most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably the shortest uh, movie log. Uh, the only thing I can say is, it is a bad movie, but it's the bad so bad it's actually kind of funny because uh, there yeah. was also that one scene where uh, the the jeep was coming and uh, the wolf explosive and Zangy was like, "Quick, change the channel." <sighs> it's like everyone makes fun of this movie. Yeah. So clearly, so clearly, you can enjoy this movie. Just not for the intentions the yeah. movie director wanted to go for. It's it's the so bad it's cheesy. But uh, would a, would you recommend this movie? Uh, I mean, if you just want to have something to pass, in, you know, an hour and forty one minutes, this is it's okay. It's not it's not gonna brainwash you like Super Mario Brothers tried to or like oh see that the evolution or the evolutionized sorry. But uh, I mean, it's okay if you want a couple of laughs here and there. It's okay if you're a Van Damme fan. I'd I'd say, I mean, he has some good moves. Uh, he seemed like he was in good shape for the film. Oh, that, Although that... I did hear he took steroids for this film. Later on, after the fact, that's what they, they brought out. Oh, shame, because I yeah. was like, uh, he, he looks ripped in this movie. Yeah, he and definitely it looks, looks bigger. Uh, Raul Julia uh, did a, a, yeah, I thought he did a convincing job as, as Bison. Or, for... in, in the, like, the role, in yeah, the way in the they, they did it. Like, he took it so far, like, like, I wonder, like, did he read the script as, like, this is so dumb, but I'm going to make it look so dumb yeah. that even though it's going to, like, it's just going to be great because it's so dumb. Yeah. It's just, yeah, just unfortunate that he passed away, like, not that long after this film was Oh, uh, and then the though. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Which was kind of dumb. Yeah. Have you played it? No. No. But it's just, like, it, I... it, it's, that's... This movie is based on the game, and that game is based on the movie based on the game. Yeah, it's like digitized ooh, graphics. Trying yeah, to go yeah. hop on the Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat bandwagon. Speaking of uh, the fighting games, like I said, there's not a lot of fighting. There's more shooting and other types of action. There's a couple of bit more fighting near the end, but uh, the fight choreography wasn't that good. You never saw any hits actually hit. Like when yeah. when Guile did the flash kick, you didn't see it like hit Bison or anything. It's just kind of like there's no flash either to the kick. <laughs> that was a little more. Ex- I, I was willing I to like. Except that it just it wouldn't exist. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the fight choreography is not that great because or well maybe not so much the chore- choreography but the editing because like the guy flash gets like about to hit it's like the spices like ugh yeah it, it's not edited well but uh on my final notes if you get the chance to watch this movie would I recommend you watch it well if you've never seen it take a look but. You're not missing anything if you're. Yeah. You're not missing anything by not watching this movie, except for the, you know, the the endless jokes that people make about this, like the, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, that deleted scene. There were like only two deleted yeah, scenes. Two deleted the... scenes. Although the the second deleted scene didn't seem that like that much important. Of a deleted scene, yeah. Where uh, Cammy comes in and it's like tries to kick Chun Li's ass and it's like she just runs away. Yeah. But. Oh. Yeah, street. It... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> we ran out of things to say. There's just, yes. there's, just, there's not. An, I thought there would be enough More to, to say, say a few yeah. things, but let's not waste time. But... All right, guys, let's end it with game over. over!